do 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 this is Edgar Allan Poe. You'd think he would have gotten a little more cleaned up if he knew he was going to get his portrait painted. He wrote a poem entitled The Raven, which is probably the most famous on earth. It's about a sad guy that stands around all day lamenting his young dead girlfriend when knock knock a raven appears on his window sill chanting never more never more never more but i digress and grandpa also wrote another poem entitled annabelle lee and it's about yeah you guessed it a s- sad guy lamenting his young dead girlfriend i smell a pattern that's right if you read anything by or about it girl po you know that he was in fact married dun 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 dun, dun. he married his first cousin virginia clem when she was just 13 this wasn't that unusual back in the day but he did lie and say she was 21 on the marriage certificate their marriage was at first top secret but was eventually open to the public unfortunately for our dear mr poe poor virginia caught consumption now known as tuberculosis early in their marriage and died soon after anybody that's ever written anything about Edgar Allan Poe will tell you that they speculate that the sad guy and the dead girl in both these poems are none other than Mr. Edgar Allan Poe and Mrs. Virginia Clem Poe themselves there's many evidence to the contrary of this but people like to think that way because it's romantic Aw. Edgar Allan Poe also penned many short stories, and his most famous one, by far, is entitled The Telltale Heart. It's about a seemingly innocent guy that's telling his story and all of a sudden goes completely crazy and ends up stabbing his old master in his cataracts filled eye. Mm hmm. He also wrote another short story that's mildly popular entitled The Black cat and it's about you guessed it a seemingly innocent guy that goes completely crazy and instead of an old guy stabs a cat in the eye do we sense another pattern perhaps not many educated scholars that have studied poe speculate know that his father left him when he was very young and this scarred poor poe for life and when he and he lived with a foster father that we can safely assume was not a very nice man they speculate that all these man problems may have rendered him a bit unstable and these educated minds think that the seemingly innocent guy that goes crazy in both of these stories may be none other than edgar Allan poe himself now do we know if any of these things are true the fact is that we do not because edgar Allan poe is dead and until we can invent some kind of crazy space age time machine that can take us back in time to ask him we will never know if any of these things are or ever were true and all we can do is theorize do 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 do